One of the things that the right has been really, really obsessed with for a while now is this idea of our kids are being groomed. And they have all sorts of arguments they make. They say, you know, trans people are grooming our kids. Drag shows are grooming our kids. Teachers are grooming their kids. They're really doing this moral panic as if there's societal pressure now for little Danny to say to his dad, Papa, I want to chop off my dick and balls now because it's a fad thing to do. <laughs> this is what they're trying to get across, right? And again, they cloak it as this virtuous crusade for our kids. It's all about saving our kids. But it's interesting because every now and then a story will come out about how kids have been systemically abused. And what do you hear? Crickets. You <laughs> Did something happen? I didn't see anything happen. What do you know what you're talking about? Well, look at what we got here. More than 1,900 children abused by Illinois Catholic Church. This is according to a state investigation. The results were just released. 1,900. Did you have a pedophilia factory? Did you have an assembly line of pedophiles? 1,900. Over a period of about seven decades... The Catholic Church in Illinois has allowed more than 450 credibly accused child sex abusers to have access to parishioners, the New York Times reported. 450. Guys, it's not like it was a, whoopsie, Father James is a pedophile, tee hee hee, whoops. No, they knew it, the leaders knew it, and you know what they do? They'd shuffle them around from church to church, parish to parish. Oh, you got caught, went a little too far over here. Send them a couple states over. This is what they did. They say the figure is more than four times that which the church had publicly disclosed before 2018 when the state of Illinois began investigating the matter. The state's report found that clergy members and lay religious brothers abused at least 1,997 children since 1950 in the state's six dioceses. The report adds 149 names to the to lists of child sex abusers whom the dioceses themselves had publicly identified before or during the investigation. That brings the total number of identified abusers to 451. The report says the additional names were supplied by victims who came forward and shared their accounts with investigators, who then followed up on their accounts. Investigators also reviewed more than 100,000 pages of files held by the diocese and interviewed church leaders and their representatives. One problem priest who was moved from parish to parish was Thomas Francis Kelly, who had abused more than 15 boys ranging in age from 11 to 17 during the 1960s and 1970s. Kelly's abuse was so prominent that it was a topic of discussion amongst the victim's peers, the Times reported. Before the report's release, the state's sixth diocese released a statement claiming that the church has been at the forefront of dealing with sexual abuse of minors for many years. Mike McDonnell, a spokesman for SNAP, an advocacy group for victims of clerical sexual abuse, responded to the statement saying that the state's report clearly tells us that no one knows more about abuse and no one did less about it than these dioceses themselves. I just want to remind you exactly what we're dealing with here. This was in Newsweek. It was from 2018. I believe we covered it at the time. The Catholic Church has paid nearly $4 billion over sexual abuse claims. $4 billion. You wonder why they paid $4 billion? Because they diddled countless children. That's why they paid $4 billion. Billion with a B. With a B. Well, let me ask you a question. If liberal teachers had to pay out $4 billion because they sexually abused children as a matter of course, as a matter of standard operating procedure, what would the right be saying? What would they be doing? They would literally never shut up about it. By the way, nor should they. Nor should they. You had basically a sexual abuse factory in the Catholic Church. And shh, 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 nobody says anything. Nobody says anything on the right. It's almost like they don't really care about protecting kids from sexual abuse or from grooming. Because this is astonishing. Now, by the way, how many more victims are there? They had to pay out $4 billion. We're talking, what, millions of children? 
it really makes you wonder if there was like a directive, if there's a secret meeting of pedophile priests who are open about the fact behind closed doors, yeah, the reason, one of the main reasons we're doing this is so we can get, get access to kids. Because these unsuspecting parents at the time, with, what do you mean? Yeah, like, if I send my kid to religious teaching and you got a priest teaching the class or whatever, uh, this is a holy man of God. Of course they're going to do right by our kids. Of course we trust them. Literally the last people you should ever trust. Ever. So they say a nonprofit group that tracks allegations of abuse within the Catholic Church said Saturday that the church has paid out nearly $4 billion in lawsuits over allegations of clerical abuse since the 1980s. Bishop Accountability, whose mission is documenting the abuse crisis in the Roman Catholic Church, according to their website, says that there are also payouts involving over 8,600 cases of assault survivors abused, abused by a member of the clergy dating back to the 1950s. 8,600 cases. That's just what we know of, bro. How many do we not know of? The largest known payout amounted to over $600 million in 2007. CNN re uh, reported on Saturday, issued on behalf of 221 priests and other church employees accused of abusing and victimizing over 500 people. This is, uh, this is astonishing. And by the way, the Catholic Church, their reputation will not take even the tiniest of hits. Because it's viewed as a mainstay institution now in the country. The church is untouchable in the same way that, like, broadly speaking, the government is untouchable. Or, like, big banks are untouchable. And this isn't even a blip on the radar. Not even a blip on the radar. People should be locked up. A lot of people should be locked up as a result of this. And if the right really cared about protecting kids, this would be what they talk about nonstop. Now, by the way, I'm not saying all Catholics are guilty of this. I mean, there's plenty of people who are Catholic. They just go to church and they're against this stuff and they hate this stuff and they couldn't believe this stuff when they heard it. So this isn't an attack on regular people. But it absolutely is an attack on an institution. And think about how absurd it is. They got all this stuff about protecting kids. And the main culprit to these people is drag shows. Drag shows. They want to protect the kids from drag shows. And send them to church instead. Which place is safer for the little ones? I'll leave you with that. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.